Okay. We're live. All right. All right. All right. Ready. Let's do it. Thank you. Yes. You guys, thank you for joining us today here at Cabaret Tree 101, 915 on Wednesday. Um, today I have with me again my favorite special guest here, Will Bruinsma with Sierra. And our topic today is veneered woods. Will, thank you again for joining us. I really appreciate it. You are too kind to have me on again. So naming me <laughs> your, your favorite out. guest. I, <laughs> no. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, no, no. Sierra is actually one of our premier vendors for veneered woods. You guys, you guys have, you have some stats on that, don't you? Yeah, we're one of North America's leading distributors for veneered plywoods, among many other products. But uh, I'm really honored that you have me here today. And uh, really excited to talk about veneered wood and, uh, and all the capabilities you can do with it. And uh, you, know, you guys use it a ton. We do, and, uh, yes. You know, it's really exciting mm -hmm. to be here. Well, good. I'm glad you are the expert here because I am not, and we're here to learn more today, and hopefully our audience will have some questions uh, going forward. So let's just start with the basics. Let's start with how veneer woods are made. So veneer woods, like you have here, uh, are peeled into veneers and then applied to a substrate MDF, particle board, plywood, uh, many different substrates, but uh, they are peeled into these very thin, thin pieces of wood and then applied onto the substrate. Um, there's a, a few different types of, uh, of uh, ways that the veneer is peeled. Uh, rotary cut, meaning it's a whole piece covering that uh, four by eight sheet of plywood, uh, or else you can cut it into different flitches and achieve different looks to it, uh, like plain saw and book match, or slip match, and we've actually got an example yeah. of that right down here. We sure do. So this yeah. is an example of some walnut, and you can see the, the flitch line right here, and uh, on either side of the flitch line, you've kind of got like a, a mirror image of each other there, so that is a, that is a book match. So for you bookworms out of, there, uh, of learning walnut. lots of stuff today, this is a book match option. The reason is because it's a mirrored image when it opens up to yeah. itself. So it opens up like a book. So um, yeah, so uh, that, that's really, uh, how and uh, there's different grades to how yeah, let's talk the, about those the veneer is done because not every uh, piece of veneer is peeled and, and looks perfect. Wood is a natural product and uh, it's got natural beauty to it and part of that is it has knots and Just different like variations. And yes, yeah. we are all unique and so is the wood. So, yeah. <laughs> so typically the face grade is designated by a letter, A, B, C, D, or E, A being the highest end uh, and E being the lowest end, and then the back is generally designated by a number one, two, three, or four. So uh, this, this is, is a, back of our this board. is like a number one back for a walnut. So you can see it's a little bit uh, more wild grain and uh, uh, not quite as consistent in color. But uh, you know uh, they all have their applications for what you're using them for. And so, so typically you'd want for the the reason why you have the face and the back is because there are typically different options. So you would we would use this typically for. Uh, for panels, doors, um, what other applications? Yeah, yeah, exactly, for? right? Uh, yeah. Highly visible areas uh, where people want that nicer side facing forward and they don't need as quite of a nice as a consistency, uh, consistency on, on the, back. the back. Exactly. So, um, and so like an A1 panel does not have the same look on the face as the back. The face is nicer. So, although if you do need it uh, to be the same on both, you could specify using an A A. So then it would, be, it would it. be an A on both sides, exactly. So, awesome. Which we see some people do if they're building passage doors or things like that, and they have a, a door there. Like the uh, secret doors in your office? <laughs> yes. Hey, don't give away the secrets in my office. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't for sure. Talk to me a little bit about you know the, di when the different grades. Like what, what do you get for a different grade? Yeah, so it all depends on the species, because every species is uh, graded uniquely, uh, because a walnut tree and an alder tree by nature of how they grow, have more branches than, than other species, you'll get more allowable defects and things uh, depending on the species. So in walnut, uh, if you can see, there's tiny little pin knots that are in here. Those are oftentimes accept acceptable. Uh, and, uh, a certain amount of them are acceptable, at least uh, depending on the grade. So even a okay. high end A grade might have a few pin knots in there, uh, whereas a uh, a grade and white oak shouldn't have those. So it, it depends on what the species is um, and, uh, and that can kind of dictate it. So, uh, and then within those species, there's different cuts you can do too. Uh, you guys use a lot of white oak. We do, we and do love white oak. So you can do different, yeah. uh, different cuts with different species. So 
this smaller sample, but it kind of shows you can see some of the cathedral in here, else in this sample here, where you've got uh, plain sawn white oak in comparison to something like this, which is still white oak, but it's very straight grain, and this would be a rift white oak. So same species, just a different way to cut the veneer to create different looks, which is really cool. And speaking about when we, when we cut the veneer, I know that we ordered a lot of uh, sequenced grain mat sheets because we have a lot of customers that require their entire, um, the area of their room to be grain mat so that you get that consistency. Can you kind of explain how, we, how you guys cut each sheet? Yeah, so or in essence, the when, 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 uh, when the veneer gets peeled, uh, it gets peeled sequentially. And so if you want to do that amazing grain matching that you guys are awesome at doing, then you simply just specify from us that you want sequence matched panels and, uh, and we supply them to you that way so that uh, basically as that veneer is cut in sequence, they are uh, labeled that way and given to you guys so that you know that. Uh, and they can come in sequences depending on species. It can range from, you know, uh, three, four, five up to, you know, 20, 30 even. So, okay. What now? So, and then with the sequence sheets that we get from you guys, they are all cut from one tree. Is that correct? Yes. Each sequence would be from the exact same log and same tree. Exactly. So that's why grain matching is slightly difficult because there is, you, you screw up one sheet and yes, <laughs> and you got a whole panel that's wrong. <laughs> yes. But it gives you a consistent look, uh, even with the natural variety of, you know, beauty of, of real wood. So, and there's a lot that we can do with real wood, isn't there? A absolutely. I mean, that's a really cool thing about using real wood is the different stains, paints, uh, ways that you guys can finish it. Um, are, are really almost limitless. So we have a couple um, options here, just some some paint or some finish options. We have a whitewashed oak here. We have a light stain here, and then a slightly darker one. But we don't just stop there. If you guys are looking for actually a color, we could do like a blue, green, red, and what's that black guy? Really? And correct me if I'm wrong, but you can almost match any color out there, right? We can we can do our best. Yeah, you bring in grandma's sweater, and we'll make it happen. <laughs> Um, that's for sure. We even can do actually a finish on the white oak, and this is actually a high gloss white oak finish. So, um, now for those options out there, for, for those people out there that want, that really want their consistency in the grain matching and, and don't care for the pin, the pinholes yeah. or, um, uh, what did you call these guys again? Yeah, that's just the cathedral. The cathedral. In the wood. In yeah. There? So if you're if you're looking for a really really consistent product, but kind of want the warmness of wood still, there's reconstituted veneer. So it still is real wood, but it's been you know basically man made uh, through dyeing and how they cut it. Uh, it can be uh, very very consistent from sheet to sheet, and uh, and there's still lots of options that you can work with. So uh, for those that still want something really really consistent, you can look at a reconstituted option uh, of which we have our own one. I like it. I like it. I know we get a lot of requests for um, uh, oak and walnut. What else are you guys seeing move through your warehouse? Yeah, I mean, uh, just to throw some ideas out there. You know, we see uh, you know quarter sawn sapili, ribbon mahogany, uh, anna gray. There's uh, lots of different exotic veneers that uh, you know people uh, and designers are specifying that uh, really are a little bit more unique that can add some flair and, and uh, more personality to an area. And uh, so that's really cool to see. Uh, I really get excited when I see those those come through because you know I like seeing kind of more unique things too. Like so, the Madagascar Evans. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I love it, so. I love it. Well, talk to me a little bit. I know that because this is a natural product, even the reconstituted wood is considered a natural product. Um, what happens to these guys over time that we should be aware of? Yeah, so uh, the wood will patina or you know change through UV exposure and you know just just from being out in the air, the uh, the the tint to the wood will will slightly change over time. So that's something that you've got to be aware of. Uh, but I, I think it really adds to what natural wood is all about, right? It's uh, yeah, it is that way, and it, it's really cool to see that happen. So I like that. And speaking that over time. Um, I think we're about out of time today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't want to suck up too much, but everybody keep in mind that the veneers are a beautiful option and there's so much more out there besides just the walnut and the white oak. We've got lots of reconstituted options that are out there 
and um, just of any flavor, not to mention the finishing options. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for your time. Do we have any questions? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I guess we answered them all. We answered them all. We did a good job then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> well, please join us next week when we're going to be talking with Austin Hardwoods about hardwoods. Um, again, it's not veneers. It's a solid piece of wood. And they're going to bring in a couple options for us. Thank you again, Will, for joining us. I appreciate you having us, or joining us today. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.